I'm going to go to Avery because Avery, I'm aware that you've got to go to your something really soon. I would just love for you to talk a little bit about your college experience. How, like, how did it evolve for you? Did you know what major and did you stick with that or did you change, yeah. you know, talk to us a little bit about that whole thing. Yeah. So I got into Dartmouth's fly-in program. Um, so that was during my senior year or no junior year um okay. of high school and so I like remember getting off the bus and just being like I love this place I don't know why this yeah. is home I don't I have and I had, did not even want to go to the flying program I was like I'm from LA it's in the middle of the woods yeah there's right. no way this is gonna be a fit yeah um but I ended up really loving it and really loving the rowing coaches and the rowing team that was there, which was yeah. a big part of my college experience. So I ended up going to Dartmouth. Um, I applied early decision and then ended up going there. Um, yeah. I, my plan, I'm a big planner, yeah. um, but my plan for my first year was to just do classes that I was interested in yeah. and then sit down with myself at the end of the first year and, and see, what I wanted to major in from the classes that I took. Yeah. Um, so I really just explored things my first year. Um, yeah. I will say my first year was pretty tough uh, academically. I, yeah. what I felt like in high school, I was the smartest kid in the class mm-hmm. pretty often. Yeah. And it, things just kind of came easy. Yeah. But then when I went to college, like there was, I was not, (laughs) I was very clearly like struggling to keep on top of assignments. Essays were longer than anything I've ever written in my life. Like my first year writing course was 15 pages essays due every single week. Um, and that was a lot on top of 20 plus hours of varsity rowing, which the rowing and that time commitment was the same as it was in high school but the work required so much more. And I feel like I worked with all of the resources that were available at Dartmouth, like the writing tutors and things like that. Yep. And it just felt like it didn't, wasn't clicking. Um, But I just really leaned on my professors and Dartmouth is one of the reasons why I picked it um, is it's a place where I have had only three classes that were larger than 12, 15 people. Um, And so our professors knew us really well and knew our strong suits and our weaknesses. And so I ended up getting very close with my first year writing professor. Um, We ended up getting coffee once a week and then once a term thereafter till I graduated. And she just was so instrumental in making me feel like I could do this and I could write better and identifying what I needed to do better. Okay, um, great. So it was a, uh, I was an adjustment to the academics, but everything else was truly perfect. I couldn't yeah. have picked a better school. Um, I ended up re looking at my classes uh, my sophomore year and recognizing that I had already taken like half of what I needed to graduate in sociology. Oh. So I majored in sociology. I also had to take you have to take a language at Dartmouth. Okay. Um, and so I took Italian, was not great. My first <laughs> class of Italian, you have to take three classes okay. to qualify for study abroad. Okay. Um, and that's the reason I took it. I wanted to study abroad in Italy. Yeah, um, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, so I took uh, my first class, didn't go that well, but typical me, I was like, great. So I'm not going to be bad at something. So I have to take a second class. Like I just can't be bad at something. It's, I'm not going to allow myself to do that. Okay. So yeah. took a second class, did much better. And again, leaned on my professors and then ended up minoring in Italian after coming back from Italy. Oh, cool. Yeah. So I did that. And that was, I, Dartmouth doesn't have a lot of, uh, my, my boyfriend went to Wharton. All of his majors were very easily transferable to okay. a job interview. Yeah. Um, Dartmouth has less of that and yes. they have econ, they have math, but they don't have any, like they don't have marketing and business. Yeah. Um, so 
but I felt like sociology was actually pretty easily transferable to uh, right. uh, uh, marketing, you know, knowing how people work and what, what makes them do things. That's Absolutely. Exactly what I need to know for marketing. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, it ended up being a, a really amazing college experience for both the rowing and, and just everything else. Oh, that is fantastic. I love hearing about your journey and now you're at Microsoft. And so as you look back, what I'd love before you have to hop off, I'd love to hear what advice would you give to a younger student, say early in high school or even a senior, you know, about to a rising senior about to apply, what advice would you give? I think really thinking about it, it's really easy to think about the statistics of the school. It's really easy to think about, yeah. oh, I am in the top 3% if I get into Harvard. I'm in the top whatever. It's yeah. also, I have Asian grandparents and it's also yeah. really easy to think about, you know, my grandma really loves, would love to say that she has a granddaughter at Harvard. Right. Um, but it's about you and college mm -hmm. I've realized so much you, you become kind of like yourself, you become like an adult in college and it yeah. shapes a lot about who you are. Yes. And so you really have to choose a school that's going to allow you to do the exploration in yourself, in your academics yeah. um, and in your thinking yeah. that allows you to do that. And so it was really special for me and, and important for me to think about when I was thinking about schools to think about what my week would look like. Yeah. Would I have time to hang out with friends? Would I have rowing? Would I, you know, things like that. Yeah. And to really meet the people that were there and see like what they, what their core values were. And I feel like all of my professors were like, we just love what we do and really love teaching. And we yeah. just want you to learn. And that's what I needed in that area. Mm -hmm. For my rowing team, they had set the values as, family first, academic second, beautiful. rowing third. And that's exactly my, my wow. set of values. Yeah, that's so beautiful. It was very much, I found a lot of family at Dartmouth and I could yeah. see that in the admissions process. Beautiful. Um, and I found a lot of support that I didn't know I would need, but obviously needed. Yeah. Um, and I think I, I truly wouldn't be the person I am today if I had gone to another school. That's a beautiful comment. Um, yeah. It's very connected to what Jocelyn was saying about match, you know, that mm -hmm. really wanting to make sure that it's not about the name, the name of courses, you know, it's like the prize or whatever we all want yeah. for, but it's really much more about, about the process and, and figuring out the good match. And that's similar to William, for your experience, you got into CMU, which was an absolute reach school for you, but you decided it wasn't the right fit. You wanted to go to uh, and I'm forgetting the name of the college, Imperial, London. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Imperial College. And that that was the perfect fit. So we, we were focused on fit just as much as we were focused on what's, you know, what are some really great colleges where you're going to get a great education, but what matches you? And I love what you just said, Avery, about that, that, um, that it was about family because family was, I mean, that was a huge piece of what we talked about is how, what your family mm. meant to you and how influential they were and helping you develop your leadership. That's really beautiful. Yeah. And, and I think, I think Dartmouth's like alumni network, like we had to yeah. wear the Dartmouth bound shirts when we went to the flying program. And I yeah. met six people at the airport. Oh, are you going to Dartmouth? Let me tell you about my experience. I graduated oh. in 1973 and I'm like, uh, okay. <laughs> like, wow. So that was the that interconnectedness. Family too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Beautiful. Is there, oh, you got to go. I just realized you got to, I was going to ask you one more question, but thank you so much for being here with us, Avery. It's such a delight to have thank you. Thank you guys. About your journey. Yeah. Beautiful.